Let's now talk about what's happening in Afghanistan. The rule of Taliban 2.0 is turning out to be eerily similar to the Taliban of the late 90s. All those initial promises have faded with time. And one gender has been systematically excluded from society and public life. No points for guessing, I'm talking about females. Have a look at this headline. Women in Afghanistan have been barred from gyms. I'm talking about the same gyms with the treadmills and weights. What's the logic behind barring women from them or denying them the right to good health and fitness? The Taliban saying the hijab is being compromised. The group saying it has tried segregating men and women in parks and gyms. How exactly? By ordering separate days of the week for men and women. But that has not worked. And now the spokesperson of the Ministry of Vice and Virtue saying, in most cases, we have seen both men and women together in parks and unfortunately the hijab was not observed. So we had to come up with another decision and for now we ordered all parks and gyms to be closed for women. Sounds like a dark joke. A political satire at best. Except it's neither. This is the dark reality of women living in Taliban's Afghanistan. The Taliban saying it will be visiting gyms and parks regularly to ensure that the facilities are free of women. But the women say the Taliban is making up stories that women have in fact been training separately. You know, none of this is what the Taliban had initially promised. On the 15th of August 2021, the Taliban entered Kabul and took control of Afghanistan. In the weeks that followed, the group promised that women would be given their rights within the Sharia law. You know, the right to education, the right to study. But a year on, the words have not translated into action. If anything, the Taliban have walked in the opposite direction. It started by abolishing the Ministry of Women's Affairs then it banned girls from attending school post sixth grade. Today, Afghanistan is the only country in the world where girls are banned from middle school. And this ban has forced parents to marry off young girls. They say it's better that the girls are married off than sit idle at home without a future. The Taliban insisting that the ban is temporary, but the world knows better, the world knows that Taliban 2.0 is old wine in a new bottle. The group's actions do not force you to believe otherwise. Take, for example, what happened in May this year. The Taliban passed a decree. It said that women must cover their faces in public. What's more, women must also remain in their homes, except when it was necessary for them to step out. But who gets to define necessity in the Taliban's Afghanistan? At least women do not. Women in Afghanistan do not have a say, a voice or choice. They have been stripped of their basic rights and identity. The Taliban have undone decades of progress. Today, today the Taliban controls what women wear, how they travel, with whom they travel, the kind of cell phones that women must carry, and the places they go to. Something as basic as a gym has been made off limits. Parks as well are off limits. There is no answer to how young children will ever get to visit the same parks because now their mothers will not be able to accompany them. But do the Taliban care? Today, Afghanistan ranks 156th out of 156 countries in the Global Gender Gap Index 2021. 5.5 million women in Afghanistan are in need of urgent humanitarian assistance, as are 6.3 million girls. But 77% of Afghan civil society organizations have no funding and are no longer running any projects. But even talking about this crisis is a big no-no in Afghanistan. The Taliban have issued orders excluding women from the media. TV stations cannot show women's faces. They are not allowed to put forward women's perspectives or even talk about women's needs. In May this year, the Taliban ordered women journalists to cover their faces when they are on air.
so much for Taliban 2.0. You know, headlines like these are a question mark against the judgment of countries who encourage the international community to engage with the Taliban, who insisted that the world believe the Taliban's promise for a change. Well, guess what? There has been no change. If anything, the change has been in the reverse direction. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.